what we are going to learn for today is verb with 나보다 and adjective with 은가보다 This one also meaning of I guess. So when you try to think about something by guessing, you can use this grammar. So let's see. Okay. Today, greeny. 수업에 안 왔어요. Green didn't come to the school. I guess she's busy. 바쁜가 봐요. She didn't came to the she didn't came to the class. I guess she's busy. 사람들의 옷이 젖었어요. People's clothes get wet. So you can see that and you can guess. 지금, now, 밖에, outside, 비가 오다, 비가 오나 봐요. I guess now outdoor outside maybe the rain is coming. Yuzim Ishimbaru Shinin Saramdri. Maneo Oh wow, there's a plenty of people who wear these shoes these days. So I can guess it might be popular. Yishimbari Yuheng Ida Yuheng is noun. So, you hang in Gabayo. I guess it's popular shoes. And one more sentence. Kangaziga. Saryuru. Saryu is dog food. Saryuru. And Mogoyo. Aka Kansigur Mokta Bogon Navayo My dog is not eating his food. So I guess I guess he might eat he might eat some snacks long time ago so as you can see adjective here adjective with 은가보다 and verb with 나보다 and noun with 인가보다 And past tense, also working, and it should work with 나보다. All kind of past tense is working with 나보다. So here, 있다 and 없다. These two words are adjective. 
adjective supposed to use with 은가 보다. But this one, these two are exceptions. So it's supposed to use with 나 보다 all the time. So it becomes 있나 보다. Or 없나 보다. One more exception. Sometimes you can think this way. I guess my dog want to eat something. Want to eat. Want is 고 싶다. 고 싶다 grammar. It, it functions like an adjective. Like an adjective. So, it should use with 은가 보다. So it become 고 싶은가 보다. So this one is the guessing meaning of 나 보다 and 은가 보다. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to push the button of like and subscribe, please.